Water for Elephants brings a circus to Broadway this spring. It's based on the best-selling novel from 2006, and it actually features real circus performers. Let's send it out to Beth Stevens. We are literally in rehearsal right now. Yes. How does it feel for you to walk into that room today and just see everyone working on the story that you created? When I was at the start of the movie, they drove me over a berm and there was a midway and I thought, great, I'm suddenly in my own head. <laughs> but here, I'm, I'm able to just, it's, it feels new to me. And yet it retains all of the good things that I wanted it to have. And I think that's a pretty magical combination. So let's go back in time and tell me what sparked the idea for you to write Water for Elephants. I was about halfway through another book. I call it now my jump off book because when I finish a book, I start to write it. I think it's a good idea. I may someday finish it. But I was working on it and um, went down one Sunday morning and opened the Chicago Tribune. And there was an article about, I think it's Edward J. Kelty's uh, circus photographs from between World War I and World War II. He was a, a gunner who ran away with the circus afterward. And the pictures could show all of the Ringling people the lineup at once. I, I was just staring at the picture. I could hear my husband getting, you know, uneasy in the background. But your imagination must have been gone. I just looked at it and I stabbed it and I said, this is what I'm doing next. Immediately, the stories and the anecdotes and they're, they're notoriously fuzzy as to whether they're true or not. But, you know, the stories about the elephants were the ones that really just struck me. And I just always loved elephants, of course. And, and so I thought, this, this, yes, of course, why not have an elephant be the star? I mean, I feel like whatever ideas you had swirling in your mind as you were looking at those photographs have come through not only your novel, but the film and now the musical. These people are geniuses. There are a few places where the, the words are the same, but really not very many. But I come out of it thinking, wow, that was a great rendition of the book. I mean, it just comes out with all the important bits and facts. This story takes place largely on a train. There are animals, as we've said. How did you think that would translate theatrically? I didn't. <laughs> I, I hadn't thought of it. I mean, when I did start thinking of it, I just, I think I just don't know all of the wonderful things that can happen on stage yet, because the one thing that gave me faith it could happen was the stampede scene in The Lion King. Because that is just, I can't remember if it's the graphics, but there's just this, it, you're in a stampede. Really, there's nothing they can't do, and so I trust that.